All right, for this module, we are in the materials undergrad lab, uh, and I'm going to show you a demonstration. So uh, just to start out with, um, I've got a light plate. I can turn this on, and it projects light up. Um, I've got two polarizers. I've got two large glass slides. I've got a spatula, heat gun, and I've got this uh, knockoff generic version of Miralax which is, as you might uh, know, a laxative, uh, but it is 100% polyethylene glycol uh, and with a molecular weight of 3350. Uh, so we're going to be using that today. And also, uh, you'll see some images from the stereoscope back there. So this is about a specific type of imaging mode that we're going to talk about later in the lectures, uh, but I want to show you a demo to the start. All right, um, I'm going to start the demo here by uh, placing a small amount of the clear lax or mirror lax substitute um, onto the glass slide with a spatula. Get through the child lock. For this demo, we do not need a large portion. And we'll place it right in the middle of the glass slide. Um, as you might be able to see, this is a powder, a white uh, crystalline powder. I can turn on the light for you, so maybe that will help. It's a little stubborn there. There we go. Uh, that makes it worse, actually. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn it off for the time being. Uh, so basically I've got the, the powder on the glass slide here. And I'm going to cover the glass slide with the other glass slide. And that will set up uh, a thin layer for, for, my, uh, for my demonstration. Alright, so in the next part I'm going to use the heat gun, as you can see here. Uh, to heat up the Miralax uh, to its melting point so it becomes a liquid. Um, I've got the uh, glass slide on top of uh, a colored post-it so you can see the, um, the solid a little bit better. As I heat it up, again, I have the heat gun, which you can't really see here, but I'm going to heat it up on low and melt the Miralax between the two slides. Hopefully you can start to see that it's becoming clear and it's spreading out so it'll be a little harder to see the liquid portion as it cools down. Alright, so now it is completely liquid, uh, which is why it's so hard to see. You can just kind of see the trace of it around. So now this Miralax is a liquid and this is going to, uh, when it cools back down now that I don't have the, the heat gun on it, it's going to crystallize. Uh, like any other crystal material. So we've melted it, it's between these two glass slides, and so the next step that we want to do is we're going to put it on the microscope and watch it crystallize. Alright, now that we have the Miralax uh, melted, we are going to put it under the microscope, as you can see here, between the two polarizers. Uh, it's under a stereo microscope at 6x and I've sped up this video and we're going to look at the crystallization. So I apologize, apologize for the uh, cursor there um, and another thing you'll notice when you're watching this video is there is uh, a fair number of air bubbles trapped so those are the the circles uh, that you see uh, that are uh, blue inside but you can also see these crystals growing and specifically since this is Miralax, it's a, it's a polymer, uh, polymers grow uh, by 
forming spherulites, which are mixtures of crystalline and non-crystalline regions, uh, but they look like dandelions. And so that's what you're seeing here as it slowly crystallizes the entire thin film uh, between the two glass slides. All right, uh, now as it's completing uh, crystallization, uh, we have another experiment to kind of go along with this. I'm going to move the top polarizer and slowly rotate it 90 degrees. And that's what you're going to see in this video. All right, you can see that it's basically gone now. And so that is from the image setting. So I've adjusted that for this next video. Uh, but I'm still going to rotate that top polarizer slowly so that you can see what happens. All right, here's the base image, and I'm going to start slowly rotating the polarizer. So hopefully you can see that change happening uh, as it's being rotated. I'm going to do it a couple more times here. All right, as you finish watching this video, I want you to think about um, what type of light microscopy this is most related to. We haven't talked about it yet, but we're going to talk about it uh, coming up.